Greetings. This is Robert Forsh, and um, just wanted to uh, make a, a bit of a broadcast about a couple of issues. <clears throat> One of the um, dynamics here is as we um, as we consider what we believe. I know I've made the statement. Maybe you've heard this. Uh, people believe a lot of things. I I just prefer the truth. And I understand that may sound arrogant. What I, and then I've had different people say, "Well, that's your truth," you know, as far as uh, what Scripture says. And I understand that. There, there's ultimately the truth, and then there's everything else. Is pretty much how that works. Now, as we pour through information and, to the best of our our ability evaluate what's accurate, what's factual, what's truthful, it's really a challenge, as I'm sure many of you know. There's also the factor of uh, what do people think about us when we say, oh, I, I don't believe we went to the moon. <laughs> a lot of people are going to get upset with that. Or if I say, I believe uh, Jesus is God and uh, people need to be born again to go to heaven because that's what he said. And then they may have uh, a perspective of a, like a spiritual smorgasbord of, of what they believe. And I understand that. This, uh, this is all very challenging to, to evaluate and to look at. So what, what I wanted to do, I, I made a post last night that got a lot of uh, feedback on it. Some of it was heated, and I was pretty tired, so I, I didn't uh, go through and like moderate all the comments. Some There was some profanity. I ended up deleting it. Some of the uh, profanity, uh, the comments that had profanity in them, uh, simply because I, I didn't think that that would be good to leave up there. I, I don't want my post to be really like a debate forum I guess maybe I'm I've got wishful thinking there um, so I, I actually liked some comments on that I didn't really want to hear from them and that's okay like that they don't believe the uh, the they believe in heliocentrism and evolution and and all of that I don't want to hear that for them however that really doesn't have any bearing on uh, what I believe. Uh, as best I can tell, I, I believe what I do because it's the truth. Uh, and by definition and irony and paradox, the deceived individuals don't know they're deceived. And they don't know that they don't know. I was tagged in a post where there were some very well educated indoctrinated individuals talking about phys phys physics, theoretical physics and uh, degrees that they have and, and all that. And they believe that the uh, uh, flat earth is stupid. Well, it's not stupid. However, within the context of, of looking at cosmology and the state of the world that we live in, it's pretty tough to know what's actually, um, uh, what's really going on. The, um, the movement of the sun and the moon are very interesting to me. They run a different course, apparently, above the face of the earth, as best I can tell. And I, I say it that way because I believe, for one, that's what's going on. Uh, actually, let's change that around. The Bible says the, the sun and the moon move and that the earth is stationary. So it's not unbiblical for me to say I don't believe we went to the moon. Uh, one of the dynamics, when I first started looking into this and people didn't agree, uh, there's a lot of people that don't agree about a lot of things. However, I really would take it personal if they would say, you're stupid. <laughs> I know I'm not stupid, uh, 
And I know I'm not crazy. I've heard it said that's what all crazy people say. I'm not crazy. Okay. Well, it's it's all very interesting to consider all of this. I'm I'm going to flip this around for a little bit so you can see a a different perspective. Now, yesterday we had a lot of uh, pelicans that were out here feeding in the surf. And right in the middle of the view, I don't know if you can see it, there's a, there's a bunch of little seabirds. They, they're smaller than seagulls and bigger than sandpipers. I don't know what they are. They like to play in the waves. They're just going up over the top of the waves and coming back down. It's, they seem to just be having fun. Uh, if you go to my profile, you'll see a lot of interesting uh, imagery of the beauty of, of this world that we live in. I believe it's the creation that God made. Here they come. They're actually coming closer right now. That's pretty cool. Hopefully they'll do that right in front of us. I, I would like to be able to zoom in more with, uh, with my iPhone. Uh, it's got a limited zoom, though as I'm sure many of you know. Yeah, here they are. Look at them. They're just going to play around out there for us to, to look at and consider. So uh, I used to get really upset when people saw things different than me. Well, quite frankly, that's an unrealistic expectation. Somehow I had equated uh, what other people thought and perceived with somehow it had a bearing on what was accurate and what was true. So one of the statements that I've made quite a bit that I believe is really important to consider is I, I thought I was born again until I actually was born again. And the reason why that's so important, I believe, is because, well, he changed me. So I couldn't say that on the outside looking in. It was after I was actually born again, I understand that I, I wasn't for all those years, for over 30 some years of uh, ministry. Wow, here, here's some pelicans coming in right there. They are so cool. They're one of my favorite birds now. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Um, so, what, what is so interesting about all this is that people have different perspectives. And that doesn't necessarily mean that something is true because a lot of people believe it. What I thought was very interesting is that when it came out to me that the Bible actually talks about a non-moving earth and that the sun and the moon move. I thought, wow, there's going to be a whole lot of Christians that are going to want to hear about that. Not so much. Well, I was a Christian for a long time. It's just that I was born again about two years ago on Halloween. And that's when he, uh, he changed me. He gave me his Holy Spirit. So it's only by his grace and his power, the power of the Holy Spirit living in and through me that allows me to do what I do. Um, you know, as far as putting in long hours, these are the longest hours I've ever put in in my entire life. And I enjoy it. Because uh, as best I can tell, I'm just doing what God created me to do. And then he rewards me in a way that is beyond financial compensation. It's not, a, it's not about the money. I don't get a paycheck for doing this. Uh, however, I've been paid in advance. So I believe that it's only by God's grace that anybody can love and believe the truth, let alone find it. And you know, there was a, <clears throat> a gentleman that called me from California in the middle of the night here. It was midnight. We talked for hours, and he said, uh, good morning. He said, you know, I, <clears throat> I don't want to tell you something that I believe is going to 
shatter your faith. Uh, he, he thought he had some inside information that would totally cause me to lose my faith in God. And I said, well, you know, I've looked at a lot of these things. Go ahead and let me know what you believe that is. And he told me. And uh, I said, well, I, I still believe the Bible is God's word. It's true. It's reliable. It's what I'm basing my eternity on. 